Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Old video for you today. It's Wednesday and I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy so we can see what's old for us today. Hey friends, I did want to thank some of you all for buying us coffees. Um, Allie bought us two coffees and said she just downloaded the spreadsheet for the new year and thanking us for that. So thank you so much, Allie. Allie, thank you so much for that. If yeah. you don't know what we're talking about, we do have a spreadsheet that we've released. It is free. There is a link down in our description. It's the one we use to track all of our sales and inventory. And it's got like dashboards on there. So it kind of gives you you know, as much information as you put in. So uh, if you want to check that out, there is a link down there. And um, since uh, the new year is probably right around the time this yeah. video is dropping, um, you should be able to make a new copy of the, of the spreadsheet. We recommend, I recommend um, having a new spreadsheet every year, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of volume like we do. Um, have, a, you know, like a 2022 copy, a 2021, 2023, etc. I'm probably going to have a new release of the spreadsheet uh, later in the year of 2022 for 2023. Um, but the idea is, you know, it'll just give you a year's breakdown and you can have that data with you at all times. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, do leave a comment down in the, the comments below and I'll try to answer all those as best as I can but yeah so <laughs> I wanted to mention about that yeah someone on Instagram last night um, asked she was watching one of our older videos where I was just sitting here doing a last-minute bookkeeping on a sale that came in randomly yeah. at the end of our video and she was like um, she asked do we bookkeep like pretty much every time a sale comes in and yeah we do um, mm -hmm. honestly I thought that's how most people did it but maybe not maybe most people just kind of do it at the end of the month or or whatnot but yeah I I do it every day. Um, for me, it keeps me motivated for sure because I can see exactly yeah. how much profit I made that day, exactly how much cost of goods I got back, exactly yeah. pretty much everything. So that's what I do. Right. Um, <laughs> and all of the fees and stuff are on all the transactions. Like, yeah. We sell on five platforms, but when I'm already doing, as I print the label, I basically just type out the sale amount, yeah. the um, fee amount, and shipping, shipping amount, cost. everything like that. Because Honestly, to go back later on would probably take longer. Like, it takes a little bit longer when you're doing it right away. I mean, mm -hmm. it takes longer to do shipping when I'm typing everything out, but it would take me longer to go back and try to figure it all right. out at a later time. So, And I should preface this. We do um, our accounting, bookkeeping, whatever, line by line. Yeah. That's not how you have to do it. You can do, you know, basically for the whole month kind of thing. Um, but we choose to do it line by line just because our inventory is stored that way. It's how our inventory is controlled. And we like to know exactly how much we make on each item yeah. and how well those are performing for us so that we know if what we're going to buy them again or yeah. what not to get. So um, if that's how you like to do your business, our spreadsheet's good for that. So... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you again, Ali. Um, Jennifer bought us a coffee, said she loves watching our videos. She's been a reseller for three years, and have, uh, we've actually inspired her to look at more plush toys and other men's items. Keep up the great work. Awesome. Yeah, I was actually looking at my dashboard today. I don't look at the dashboard as much as I should, mostly just because I... <laughs> I'm not really good at the data stuff, which is funny because I had to do that a lot in college, but I really don't remember much of it. So anyways... Um, yeah, I was looking at it, and this month, anyways, uh, men's clothing is the most things I've sold so far, so thought that Sweet. was interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's the cool little tidbits that our spreadsheet does. It it kind it, it it'll let you know, you know, which places you're sourcing from are doing good, and which. You know, what, which items are your higher sale price? You know, that kind of stuff. That's what we, we really like with our spreadsheet. And um, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's awesome that you looked at. I, I'm the more analytical person. I like looking at analytics <laughs> so and numbers. So I'd have to have him kind of tell me <laughs> exactly what I'm looking at, but. <laughs> Uh, I'll just spout out kind of random like <laughs> random facts about the business. Oh, we sold this many shoes or whatever. Yeah. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> so that's that's funny. Thank you so much for that support. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, thanks, Jennifer. Um, April bought us a coffee. She said, um, hey, guys, I did reach out on Instagram to buy the brown ladder. I saw on your channel. Do we still have it? Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> we actually have it right here. It's just been hanging out. Yeah. Those are the things that I never get listed right away because they're just... I really should just stop buying them because <laughs> even though it's going to be a good profit margin, it takes me forever to list. Yeah. It takes up a lot of space. It's just, I don't know. It's hard for me to photograph something larger like that because, like, you know, we normally photograph shoes and clothes right on that wall. And yeah. I'm not sure exactly how the ladder would work there. 
Plus, I don't like having carpet <laughs> in the pictures, so like I'd probably have to set the ladder on a table, which is kind of weird, or take it outside. I don't know. So that's why I haven't listed it yet. So yeah, um, as you can see, we're finding every excuse we can <laughs> to yeah. to put it off, and that is what we that. do. You know, that's how our death piles are made. And yes, we do have it. <laughs> um, I'll try to list that. Uh, if not tonight, tomorrow for sure. It's well, it's almost four o'clock right now. Chris hangs out with his friends on Wednesday, so <laughs> I might not get to it tonight, but definitely tomorrow. I will do that, April. Thank you so and much. We'll for let the we'll coffee. reach out to you, try to find you yes. <laughs> when we do list it, so if that if I you can't can find your message, yeah, we'll First comment crack, back yeah. to the YouTube comment. So, all right. Thank um, you for that coffee, though. We do appreciate yes, it. Thank you so much. All right, and then if you watched our video yesterday, it's one of those things where kind of like the snowboard, we have to figure out because that's an Shipping oversized first, box, yeah. and it's not gonna, it's gonna be more expensive to ship. So. Yeah, and as you can see, this is one of the reasons we've put off because it's it's too big for this box in one dimension. It's kind of like ripping the box, so we really don't have yeah. our shipping figured out for that just yet. So that's yeah. <laughs> we, we still got to figure that out. It's just time, right? Yeah. <laughs> time that takes us away from other things, so. but we will yes. get it out. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then John Butter said coffee. He said, love y'all's videos. Keep up the hard work. Thank you, John. John, thank you so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> and then Ann Butter said coffee. She said, I'm impressed with you guys. We used to do eBay back before it was popular over 25 years ago. Well, <laughs> and did it for many years. You're both congenial. Is that how you say that? <laughs> and humble. I would have to be lying if I didn't say <laughs> I Googled that before we started because I didn't know what it meant. So I, I don't um, even know what it means. So it, I think it was just like something like personable, like okay. uh, of the same interests. Okay. Like she's interested in eBay, we're doing eBay. Well, maybe not anymore since right. we don't know what that word is. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe we're right. not as relatable <laughs> so, anymore. Thank you so much, Anne. Anne, thank you so much. All we right. do appreciate that. Let's just jump into pulling the seals. All right, box F. Reese is being his usual self today. Off yeah. the bed. <laughs> All right. Um, this is actually a Colorado College uh, vintage hockey sweatshirt. Uh, Chris actually picked this up um, when we were thrifting last week. Paid four ninety nine for it. I almost made him put it back, even though if it was in gooder, gooder, <laughs> better condition, <laughs> I definitely would have picked it up. But it was. It had stains yeah. throughout. The wrists were like completely like torn up. Yeah. And so I listed it kind of low. I probably could have got more for it because it already had a like on Mercari. I listed it, I think just today. It already had a like on Mercari, a like on Posh, and then it sold on eBay, so. Yeah, sold just uh, about 15, 20 yeah. minutes ago, so. So yeah, four ninety nine. I listed at twenty four ninety five plus shipping, and the buyer, we have a sale running on eBay, so she paid twenty one forty six plus shipping, so. I'm happy with that. It's about $14, $15 profit there. And she actually lives in Colorado. So um, shipping was actually cheaper to just send two pounds versus a padded flat rate, which is what I would have done if it was like to a farther away right. state. So that's how that's gonna ship out. And this is just a mailing box. So this one you can use any, like on eBay because you're just paying by weight. Whereas this is a almost the same box, but it's regional rate. That one I would have to pay by regional rate. So yeah, so regional rates. Those uh, ones I mostly just use on Poshmark. Sometimes on eBay if it's a slim item that just happens to be heavy and is over two pounds for some reason, but it's pretty rare. All right, a viewer sale going to Angela. Thank you, Angela. I I feel bad about this too because Angela reached out about this like the day that we showed it in a haul and I saw her message but then usually if I'm out and about or like driving or something I'll see a message but I obviously can't right. respond at that moment then something happens and distraction then another, yeah, distraction after distraction happens so anyways I never responded to her this has probably been weeks at this point um, at least over a week so yeah Anyways, it ended up in our laundry pile because it had like some dog hair on it and stuff. And I think just from the thrift store. So I did wash it. And then as I pulled it out of the wash today, it, it jogged my memory that she had wrote us. So <laughs> thank you, Angela. So I wrote her back as soon as I listed it and she bought it right away. So um, awesome. Chris actually picked that up too. Hey, two sales. Well, nice. he didn't do any of the other work. Um, I gotta take whatever credit <laughs> I can. <laughs> he did pay $7.99 for that. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have picked it up myself, but he can make his own choices. So <laughs> it's all I'm for, a big boy. <laughs> it's all for twenty two eighty eight plus ship to Angela. So thank awesome. you so much, Angela. That is gonna. I'm gonna wrap it up in a poly mailer and then probably 
box it after that. So. Awesome. Thank you so much for that support, Angela. Thanks for saving my butt and <laughs> buying that for me or from Kathy from doing all the work. And look, Reese got back in his bed. Aww. That was a gift from that Angela. That was a gift from yeah. Angela. You knew it, didn't you? <laughs> Maybe we need to bring his treats up. He got some good treats. Yeah, for we got Christmas. him some duck jerky for Christmas. All right. Um, this is a little co by Lauren Conrad, the Coles line for kids. This is my son's shirt. He wore it over the summer. Um, again, I never remember exactly what I paid for stuff, like from Coles, but I think they only retail for $15. they are always on sale at Coles, so probably $12 ish. And I sold it on Kittizen for $18 free ship. shipping. I did not go through Kittizen because it's so lightweight. I went through Pirate Ship because Kittizen does not offer a four ounce label, and Pirate Ship does, so. 322 was the shipping, but when you buy your shipping outside of Kitizen, you do get charged a little bit more of a fee. Not like, it's not that the fee's more, it's just that they you're getting- They charge a fee on the whole yes. transaction, right. like your shipping Versus cost. Versus if you get the shipping yeah. label through them, you just pay the fee after the label's deducted, so. Which Mercari does the same thing, if I'm not mistaken, right? If you're yeah, doing if you're shipping doing outside of Mercari, shipping, yeah. Um, yeah, that fee. So it, a lot of people, I think, forget to, to calculate that in. that in, so. Plus it's your time. So I did, I mean, I did come out a little bit, a few cents ahead yeah. with this particular transaction, but I had to spend more time than just clicking yeah. an eight ounce label. So mostly I did it because I don't like the kiddos and shipping labels because I have to stand in line to get them scanned. Otherwise they never scan until delivery, which makes me crazy. Yeah, so. the send labels, right. yeah. So anyways, I was happy to do that one. So yeah, probably breaking pretty much even on that. Another viewer seal. This is a three item bundle going out to Kendra. Not the Kendra that buys from us all the time. <laughs> I think we have a lot of Kendra viewers. So yeah. this is a different Kendra. Uh, where are we? So box F. And then BF. And then DG. Alrighty, so Kendra uh, made a bundle on Posh. So it was these Sperry kid shoes, super cute. Patriotic colors, some Tommy Bahama little shorts uh, with a cute belt. And one of the Cabana Life swim sets that I showed in the last video. I said if you wanna, if anyone wants one, offer me 20 bucks an offset. <laughs> Anyway, so she bundled all three of those and offered me 52. I was happy to accept. Again, we have 10 bucks into the swimsuit, $3 into the shorts. The shoes were my son, so I did pay $18 for those. So I am still coming out ahead, making about, I think, a $10 profit. So thank you Sweet. so much, Sweet, yeah, Kendra. Kendra, thank you so much for that support. Okay. We do greatly appreciate it. Uh, let me find that other one while we're here, because that was also a viewer sale. Well. She didn't say anything, but she uh, made the offer pretty much right after we put the video live. So I assume Christina um, bought this. Oh, gotcha. And I because it was the viewer. offer of what you said, right? Right, twenty dollars. So. So either it's your viewer, Christina, yeah. or it's uh, serendipitous. Yeah. Right. So twenty dollars on this one again, ten dollars, so six dollar profit. But awesome. all I have to do is put them in a box. So. Sweet. Thank you so much for that support, Christina. Yeah. And those ones actually fit nicely. Well, I might actually just do a tie back on the one. And then, um, I think originally we were gonna do this one, so. All right. Okay, box L. There we go. All right, some brooks. All right, these were in a recent haul as well. Super good shape. Um, I did take out the insoles and wash them in the washing machine. They came out nice and clean. I have $9.99 into the shoes. They sold on eBay for $44 plus shipping. In like a day or two of being listed. Very so, nice. Yeah, Brooks have been slower for me, but I, could, <clears throat> I knew men's ones do better just in general, and those were so clean that I knew that those would do well. So we're just gonna ship out in a shoe box. Right, AC. A little baby A6 sneaker that I got from Once Upon a Child. Um, they were priced at $350, but I had 20% off, so I paid $280 for them. Sold them on eBay for $16 plus shipping. Those will 
it nicely in a poly mailer. Right. Box I. I'm very happy this finally sold. I thought this would sell much faster. I did price it at the very high end of comps and just recently dropped the price so that it sold. That was my fault for overpricing. <laughs> Trying to squeeze every last penny out of an item when I could have sold it probably a month or two ago. Um, yeah. but this is a little Scentsy Buddy. Uh, the dragon? Yeah, so when I do look at plush, I'm always looking for Scentsy Buddies. I think they all say Scentsy on the foot, but then they also have like a little square uh, thing like uh, that. Like a little a patch. patch, yeah. Okay. So they also have zippers on their back because you put like a scent inside of them. So these, not all of them sell for quite as much, but... A lot of them do. A lot of them I found sell around $30. This one, I listed at $30 with our discount. Buyer paid $25.76 plus shipping, and I paid $3.99 for that. Okay. Plush, so. I feel like I just saw Matt and his wife pick up yeah, one. Yeah, part-time pickers yeah, at the flea market. Found that same one at the yeah. flea market. So. <laughs> I felt like she was about to put it back. I was like, no! Like, she could even hear me through the TV. Don't put it back! As if she wasn't there weeks ago. And it was like, <laughs> right, right. even if she could hear me somehow. <laughs> so, hey, we got you a comp, Matt. And yeah. Hopefully your sales quick. Their comps on the screen when they sold it, or when they picked theirs up were better. <laughs> And huh. <laughs> they were like, oh, 35, which is what the comps were showing when I bought it in the first place. Yeah. I think I priced mine because I know I always run sales. I think I started at like 39.95, and for that reason, probably did right. not sell because yeah. that type of thing, someone's just going to find the cheapest one and buy it. So yeah. just be the cheapest one by like one penny. <laughs> you don't need to be the cheapest one by like $5. So right. that's how you mess up comps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, these... Or some Birkenstock. Speaking, I pretty much room comes on that. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say uh, nothing. Birkenstocks. <laughs> These are I've never heard of this. So Birkenstock has a bunch of like sub brands, I guess. Right. It says Birkenstock in it, but it says like Tatini or something. It's like Tatini by Birkenstock or something. Yeah, Tatini by Birkenstock. So, anyways, I picked these up for $10.99. They sold for $62 plus shipping. That's wow. an offer I sent out to a buyer. And I think I priced this. Yeah, I did a shoebox on that. Oh, yeah, that buyer just lived in Colorado, too. So even though it was like three uh -huh. or four pounds, it was still only like seven something. Sweet. So that was nice. All right, and this was an older item. I'm very happy to sold. All right, you can't really see them, but they're just some Echo, so the ECCO brand. Women's sandals, they have like three Velcro straps on them. And then like the footbed says Echo Soft. So yeah, just a classic black sandal. I only paid $2 for these and they sold for $30, six cents plus shipping on eBay. And those will fit in a padded fly rate. So, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last one. So very nice. We'll get this stuff all packed up. And then if you stick around behind Kathy, we have our snowboard in that box back there. And last night Kathy listed it and we uh, decided to exclude it from places like Alaska and Hawaii. We kind of mentioned why in our previous video. Um, so after we get this all packed up, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that if that's something you need to do for some of your listings. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. Kathy is on her way to the post office and I'm here and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what we did with the snowboard and on how to limit where it gets, uh, where it can be shipped. So let's turn over to eBay real quick. So I've already got the listing open here. So this is for uh, our snowboard that Kathy listed. She's got all this ready to go, just our normal stuff. And then down here in the shipping details, uh, the shipping details tab where you can you know put how much it's going to cost to ship and everything um, if you look at this exclude shipping locations uh, i'm bringing this up because this is the first time we've actually really used this and this is the perfect time to use it um, so you just click on that and we've uh these you check the boxes for wherever you would like to um, not ship to these are the regions or countries you do not ship to and so for this specific item, we uh, have excluded Alaska, Hawaii, U.S. protection areas, which is like Guam and Puerto Rico, and then APO, FPO. Those are military um, 
I just don't really think that anybody from APO FPO is going to be buying this anyway, but just to cause any confusion or prevent any confusion we uh, just check that as well we also did take it off of PO boxes just just in case um, uh, but you can also come in here and uh, do each country individually if you do international shipping so that's basically all you got to do you just come in here and check which ones you do not want to ship to and then save and close and then that will exclude those locations on that listing um, and yeah, the reason I didn't have to check any of these other countries is because we don't offer international shipping outside of the global shipping program anyway. And on this one, we did actually uh, exclude it from global shipping as well, I think. So yeah, we have actually uh, have it not selected to go through the global ship. Oops, <laughs> we have it not selected to go through the global shipping program. Um, and that's just to prevent any kind of unneeded confusion with that big bulky item obviously we still have everything else selling through global shipping um, we don't get too many sales through that but when we do ebay makes it easy for doing that international shipping so anyway guys i wanted to let you guys know how to do that in case you needed to do it in your ebay store that's how we did it uh, guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all of our amazing viewer support today we do greatly appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye